Hey there, beautiful. Thank you for clicking my video. In today's video, I will be doing a wig show and tell on Old Trey Melted Hairline Synthetic Lace Front Wig in the style Toriana and the color 2 in DR4 Golden Honey. This wig is from Hair So Fly Shop. If you're interested in this wig, the link will be below in the description box. Here is a close up of what inside of the wig looks like. You get two inches of lace in the front on the hairline, a five inch middle lace parting space with two combs in the front behind the lace, another comb nape air with adjustable straps. The wig was made on a ventilated cap and they also inserted a elastic band for extra secure snug fit. This is what the color two looks like straight out of the box. Here is a close up on how the hairline comes. It comes lightly pre-plucked with some baby hairs. And because it's a synthetic wig, the knots do not come bleach. As for the parting space, the parting space come nicely pre-plucked as well. The hair texture, I would say is on the silky side. Now I'm going to take my Andis hot comb and I'm using the temperature five. And I'm just going to press back the hairline by the forehead so I can have the front kind of frame my face with the layers. And then I'm gonna go in with the hot comb and press down the hair by the parting space as well. Now that I'm all done, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow scissors and cut off the extra lace. First, I cut off the lace behind the ear tab, then I pull back the baby hairs and I take the scissors and cut right along the hairline. I'm not cutting perfectly straight, but I'm cutting in little zigzag motions. This is what the golden honey looked like straight out of the package. And for this one, I just kept it simple. I didn't style it at all because I knew I was going to switch it over to a right side part. But the hairline comes lightly pre-plucked as well and you get baby hairs. Hey everybody, here I am. So first up, I'm gonna install the color two on me. Underneath the lace, I applied some of my makeup powder and in the nape area, that's where I hooked my adjustable straps. Underneath the wig, I'm going in with a brown stocking cap. The hairline on the wig is longer than my hairline, so I'm going in and cutting off some of the air tabs. So when I do wig show and tells, I don't really like to spray or install the whole hairline. I just like to spray down the air tabs of one layer, then blow dry it until it's completely dry. Thank you. 
the lace on the hairline is still coming off a little too light on my skin so i'm gonna go in with this nars foundation and pump one pump of this on a paper towel then smudge some of the product off onto the paper towel with my makeup brush then lightly apply the makeup to the hairline Now I'm going in with Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue on the baby hairs. Now I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder in shade 360. This is the same powder that I use underneath the lace. I'm going to apply some of this powder on the hairline and to the parting space so it can help hide the knots and the grid that's on the lace. All right, you guys, so right here is my end results on the color number two. And now that I'm watching it over, hmm, I could have done a little better on the baby hairs, but this is just a wig show and tell on how this wig looks for anybody that's curious. I feel like this is a cute short wig for every day. The length of it is 12 inches on me. My height is 5'6". The hair texture is on the silky side. As for the hair density, I would say the hair density is on the low side, but it's okay. It goes with the style of the wig. I love how the wig comes pre-layered. The layer look really cute with the style. As for the back, when I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing and you can't see my wig cap. As for the wig size, I do have a lot of stretch cap room left in there. My head circumference is 22 inches, so if you have anything bigger than 22 inches, I would say at least a 23 or maybe a 24 inch circumference head. I feel like you're in for the clear. If you have a smaller head, then I recommend crisscrossing the adjustable straps or knotting the end of that elastic band. The hair does have a shine, but to me, it's not coming off too shiny. It's looking a little shiny because of my ring light. But like I always say, if you don't like the shine and you want to dim it down, you can always go in with dry shampoo. Here is a close-up on the hairline and parting space. The lace doesn't look too bad with my skin once I got it to match my skin. When I was styling the wig, I used a comb to style it, and I didn't get any tangling. As for shedding, shedding was very, very low. Like I said before, this wig is very beginner friendly, especially if you want to get into the frontal look, but without doing so much work. You can even go in and pluck the hairline some more to your liking, but just remember it's not that much lace in the front, so it's only so much you can pluck. But anyway, let's move on to the next color. All right, so at first I popped this wig on put it as a middle part because the wig comes as a middle part and it's cute it's not bad but i feel like hmm i would have liked it better more to the side so i went over and moved it to a right side part instead 
But remember, this wig come as a middle part. But if you would like to wear it as a right side part, I'm just giving like, you know, a style option. The ear, the... <laughs> the lace is going to sit on top of your ear. If you want, you could cut it off, but I'm just going to let it sit there. It's not uncomfortable to me. And then just spray down the um, lace. And then I'm going to go in on the other side and spray the other side as well. This is just basically a fake right side part because you can't part it to the right side. You can only shift it. You can also do the same thing with a left side part. But I'm just giving ideas because I had this wig sitting in my closet for some time now and I wasn't really fully feeling the middle part. So somebody could be out there like me not knowing what to do with the wig, not knowing the right side part could be popping as well. All right, so right here is my end results on the golden honey color. And now that I shifted it to the right side part, I'm thinking I don't have a problem with the middle part. I just think the color looks better on me with the style of the wig with the right side part. And as you can see, here's a close up on the hairline for how it will lay on your hairline. It's not the most comfortable thing as if it was a, a middle part, but it's still cute. It could still rock. And if you like the lace to be melting more into your skin, then I recommend spraying the whole hairline at least twice so you get an extra nice hold throughout the day. Or you can even use glue. So now that I show and tell you guys both wigs, I do love both of the wigs. I just wish the hairline came more plucked because it comes lightly plucked, but I've seen the results that Otre have with their other melted hairline wigs, and it looks flawless. Like, especially like the hairline on Kamaya, Otre Kamaya, I wish it was like that, just plucked a little bit more so it could serve, you know, more realisticness. I know that's not a word, but I'm just saying. The parting space on these wigs is nice and deep, and I love a deep parting space because to me, I hope it look more realistic. I tried keeping the wig long, but I was like, let me go in and cut it down a bit. And as for the cut, the cut is cute as well. I should have like straightened up the cut a little bit more now that I'm watching it over, but I didn't know at the moment. When I was styling the wig, I didn't get any tangling with the comb. And as for shedding, shedding was very, very, very low. So that's like pretty much all I have to say about these wigs. The only con is I wish the hairline came plucked a little bit more, but otherwise super cute. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Enjoy the rest of your day, beautiful.